Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 5.2 arc length. 5.2 represents chapter 5, section 2 of the Pearson A Level Maths, Pure Maths Year 2 textbook. Let's go through the key fact of this section. I'm going to start by drawing a sector. A sector is a slice of a circle. Consider the following sector. Let R be the radius and theta be this angle. Let L be the arc length. Ladies and gents, the arc length L is given by radius multiplied by theta. So R is equal radius of the sector. Theta is equal angle measured in radians. So if the angle is measured in radians, the arc length is calculated by taking radius multiplying by theta. This is the key fact of 5.2 arc length. I'll be implementing this key fact within exam style questions. Let's have a look at exam style question one. The diagram shows a sector AOB. The perimeter of the sector is twice the length of the arc AB. Find the size of the angle AOB. The middle letter is O. We are trying to work out this angle. Let's call this angle theta. And let's call the radius of the sector R. So we've got R over here and we've got R over here. From the question, it says the perimeter of the sector is equal twice the arc length AB. So we're going to use this information to generate an equation. The perimeter of the sector is R plus R plus this arc length, which is R theta. So we've got r plus r plus r theta is equal two lots of the arc length AB. So two lots of r theta. We can simplify this equation. So if we simplify it, we get 2r plus r theta is equal 2r theta. We have r common between each term in this equation, so we can divide the entire equation by r. So if I divide the entire equation by r, the first term reduces to 2, the second term reduces to theta, and the third term over here in the equation reduces to 2 theta. Now we can make theta the subject. So we've got 2 is equal to 2 theta minus theta. Hence 2 is equal theta. 2 is equal theta. We have that theta is 2 radians. So, the angle AOB is equal to radians. That completes exam style question 1. Moving on to exam style question 2. The diagram, which is over here, shows a triangular garden PQR with PQ equal 12 meter, PR equal 7 meter, and angle QPR equal 0.5 radians. The curve SR, which is an arc length, is a small path separating the shaded patio area. Here is the shaded patio area and the lawn. Here is the lawn. And in an arc of a circle with center at P, okay, there's a center and radius seven meter as stated. Find part A, the length of the path SR. So that path SR is just an arc length SR. We're trying to calculate arc length S. R. This is given by R multiplied by theta. So the radius of the sector is 7. We can take 7 and we can multiply it by 0 0.5, which is the theta. This gives me 3.5 meter. Hence, the length of the path SR is 3.5 meter. Part B, find the perimeter of the shaded patio, giving your answer to three significant figures. So now we're looking at the shaded patio. This is 7 meter. This is also 7 meter because it represents the radius. If this is 12 meter and this is 7 meter, we have 12 take away 7 meter, which is 5 meter. Hence, this part over here is 5 meter. That arc length SR was calculated in part A. It is 3.5 meter. So, all that remains is to calculate the length of QR. Okay, so what we can do over here is form a triangle. So here is my triangle P, Q, R. This angle is 0 0.5 radians. 
and I know that this length over here is 12 meter and this length over here is 7 meter. I can work out QR using the cosine rule. So QR squared is equal 12 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 lots of 12 multiplied by 7 cos of the angle which is opposite to the side which is 0 0.5. So QR is equal square root of this. When we take the square root, we usually include plus or minus, but because QR represents a length, we take the positive square root. Now, ladies and gents, over here, we are calculating cosine of an angle, and that angle is measured in radians. So whenever you calculate cosine, sine, tan, or any trig of an angle, and the angle is measured in radians, we must change the mode of our calculator. We must put our calculator, in this case, on radian mode. So putting our calculator on radian mode, we get that QR, is equal to 6.75 meter okay to three significant figures so we've got this part over here qr which is 6.75 meter now we can calculate the perimeter of the shaded patio so perimeter is equal 5 plus 3.5 plus 6.7 5. Okay, so if I put this into my calculator, I get 15.25. We must round this to three significant figures, so we get 15.3 meters to three significant figures. That there, ladies and gents, completes part B and exam style question 2, and this teaching video, 5.2 arc length. If you found the video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a teaching video.